Hello, I'm Ward Nye, Chairman, President, and Chief Executive Officer of Martin Marietta, and I'd like to welcome you to our facility. The video you're about to watch was created with one goal in mind, to ensure that your visit to Martin Marietta is a safe one for you and for those around you. There's nothing more important at our company than safety, and we ask that you pay careful attention to the rules and guidelines addressed in this video and any subsequent training that's required. At Martin Marietta, safety is a shared responsibility. Employees are encouraged to report to their supervisors anything that could be unsafe, unhealthy, or hazardous to themselves or others. As a visitor to our facility, we ask that you do the same. Instructions will be provided in this video regarding who you should contact if you observe any potentially unsafe conditions or acts while you're on site. Please make sure you do read and follow all safety rules and recommendations communicated during your hazard training. Once your training is complete and you leave this location, accompanied by appropriate plant personnel, please make sure you read and observe all on-site signage, posted instructions, and any direction given to you by plant personnel. Depending on the nature of your visit, certain PPE or personal protective equipment such as a hard hat, high visibility clothing, safety glasses, and steel-toed shoes may be required. If you have any questions after this training is complete or at any point during your visit, please don't hesitate to reach out to any Martin Marietta employee. If you're ever in doubt about how to proceed, please stop and wait for guidance. At Martin Marietta, our goal is to have each and every employee and visitor leave our site in the same condition in which they arrive. With your help and adherence to our safety practices and procedures, we can achieve this. Thank you for your time and attention. Take care and enjoy your safe visit to Martin Marietta. Welcome to Martin Marietta, a leading provider of natural resource-based building materials. We're proud to build the foundations upon which our communities improve and grow. We are even prouder, however, to do so with safety leading the way. Whether you're an employee, contractor, customer, or visitor, there's nothing more important to us than your safety. Toward that goal, we are guided in our efforts by a guardian angel philosophy that has our employees constantly watching out, not only for their own safety, but that of everyone around them as well. So that you too can be a guardian angel, we've created this short video that will cover the rules and guidelines that can keep you safe while you're on site. Please pay close attention, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask a company representative. We'll be glad to help. This operation falls under the jurisdiction of the Mine Safety and Health Administration, or MSHA, a division of the U.S. Department of Labor. MSHA inspectors perform regular inspections of our plants and can issue citations if they find any violations of their standards. This applies to all persons on site, not just to Martin Marietta employees. MSHA also requires contractors engaged in mining to have a contractor identification number. See plant management or a safety representative for more information. Before entering a production area on site, you must comply with company requirements for personal protective equipment, or PPE. Required PPE includes a hard hat, a high visibility safety vest, safety glasses, and hard toed shoes. Other PPE, such as gloves, may be required for certain tasks. Visitors who don't have their own hard hat, glasses, or vest will be provided them. Contractors and commercial truck drivers are expected to have their own PPE. Hearing protection may be required in posted high noise areas. Remember that if it sounds too loud, it probably is, and hearing protection should be worn. Additional hearing protection may be required in certain high noise areas. In certain settings, respiratory protection or fall protection may also be required. PPE is not required in areas designated as PPE free zones. If you're not sure whether or what PPE is required at any point during your visit, ask a company representative. While on site, be alert at all times. Remain clear of moving equipment and make sure vehicle operators know you're there as their visibility is often restricted because of the large size of their equipment. Be aware of any special traffic requirements or driving hazards while on site. 
Traffic patterns and right-of-way requirements vary from site to site. A company representative will discuss with you the requirements at this particular location. Exercise care when getting into and out of vehicles and when stepping over or around obstacles. Use handrails on stairs and walkways and always keep your eyes on your path. Inspect areas above your work area for potential hazards. When mounting and dismounting mobile equipment or climbing ladders, always use three points of control. Use correct lifting procedures to avoid injury. Ask for assistance when lifting heavy objects. Use equipment to lift heavy loads. Don't smoke or use flame-producing devices within 25 feet of no smoking or no open flame signs in areas where flammables are stored or used. Martin Marietta follows a hot work policy. If your work involves use of spark or flame-producing processes, you'll be given further instruction on hot work procedures. Avoid areas where welding fumes or engine exhaust are present, if possible. Otherwise, use local exhaust to remove fumes. Avoid areas where welding operations are being conducted and don't look at the flash. If you're welding, set up screens to protect others from the flash. Always select, inspect, and use the correct tool for the job. Make sure all tools are returned to their proper places when you're done with them. Avoid attempting to work outside during extreme weather conditions, such as thunderstorms, heavy rain, hail, or high winds. Make sure snow and ice have been removed or are covered with material to provide safe footing. Do not attempt to enter any area where unsafe ground conditions or high walls exist. Don't proceed beyond berms or within 10 feet of the edge of the top of a high wall without appropriate fall protection. Move or tow mobile equipment to a designated safe area prior to servicing. Life jackets must be provided and used when working in areas where water hazards exist. MSHA has a 100% no tolerance requirement for fall protection whenever there is a danger of falling. So anytime you're off the ground or any other working surface and not protected by railings or three-point contact, fall protection must be worn. This is different from any OSHA requirement and it should be noted that the fines for violations can be quite steep. Mobile equipment must be inspected prior to use and any safety defects must be reported and corrected. All workers on site, including contractors, are required to perform workplace inspections. Unsafe equipment must be taken out of service and a record of any defects kept until the defect is corrected. When not in use, any machinery or equipment powered by electricity should be turned off, locked out, tagged out, and tried. Only approved safety cans can be used for flammable liquids such as gasoline. An approved safety can is one that has a self-closing lid and a built-in flame arrester. All containers should be labeled, identifying contents and potential hazards. Seat belts must be provided in mobile equipment. They must be in good condition and their use is mandatory. Cell phone use is permitted in designated areas only and never when operating equipment. All unattended mobile equipment must have the components lowered, controls set in the park position, the park brake set, and the wheels or tracks chalked. If blasting is conducted while you're on site, be alert and remain clear of the blast area. No one should ever enter a blast site unless specifically authorized to do so. The blasting signal for this mine is six long sounds of the siren. This means that the blast will take place in two minutes. If you've not done so, take immediate shelter. After the blast, an all clear will be sounded with one long sound of the siren. Contract workers should be provided with the contractor's basic safety rules if they require more than site-specific hazard training. If needed, first aid kits are located throughout this location. MSHA has strict reporting requirements for injury and or illness occurring on mine property. Any such occurrences should be reported to Martin Marietta Management immediately so that assistance may be provided if needed. You will now be asked to sign a certificate indicating that you have completed this training. All contractors are required to fill out a contractor's register with some basic information about the company for MSHA purposes. 
We also ask that you sign in and out of the office each time you enter or leave the property so that we may know where everyone is at all times in the event of an emergency. Thank you for your cooperation. We look forward to working with you at Martin Marietta.